Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we look at two tools that we can use on our network to kind of do a passive scan and discover what devices are communicating on a given network. Now the tools that we'll be looking at are Wireshark and uh, the app table. Uh, we'll, we'll begin with Wireshark. Now Wireshark can be opened by using the terminal. You can just type Wireshark and open it here. Or you can just search for it here and just search Wireshark and then click on it to open it. So I'm just gonna open it here on the terminal. Now with Wireshark, this one can be used to do troubleshooting on your network if you're having issues. You can capture packets and try to drill down on individual packets. But in our case, we'll just be using it to kind of observe what devices are communicating, uh, what ports devices are communicating at, the different IP addresses uh, that are showing on the network. Now we need to figure out what interface we want to capture packets on and you can just look at the interface that's showing on your machine and go to the terminal and do ip address and we can see here we have a loopback zero and we have each zero with an ip of 172.16.1.13 so i'm going to be capturing the packets on each zero so i'll come here you can select each zero and click on this to start the capture or you can double click on it's zero or you can right click it and start capture now let's generate some packets here i'll open the browser and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to Kali linux website and then i'm going to close this window uh, let's try something else let me go to another machine and let's pin Kali linux from here uh, let me open now uh, i have a windows machine I'm gonna try and ping Kali Linux from here as well. 172.16.1.13. Uh, Control C to end that. Uh, let's try to SSH to Kali Linux. Uh, Kali uh, 172.16.1.13. And it's been refused, so. Let me check the status of uh, let's do system CTS SSH. Looks like it's not enabled system. Let's enable it. Start it as SSH. I'll repeat the command. So it's active and running. Let me repeat the command for SSH. able to get in now i'm gonna stop the capture here now to stop the capture just click on this button right here and that stops the capture and you have about twenty one thousand packets now that we've captured so many packets on the network what we're looking to do is we're not going to drill down into specific packets like we're not going to go into let's say udp packet and try to look into it because we're not really doing like troubleshooting all we're trying to do is observe what's communicating on our network. And what we can use is we can go to statistics. You can look at the endpoints and here you'll see the different MAC addresses under ether ethernet, under IPv4, you can see the different IP addresses, 1.1, .1, which is a DNS server. We have public IP addresses here. Then if you scroll down, we have our private IP addresses on our local network. Uh, if you have ipv6 they'll show here they'll show up here as well tcp packets you see the information and the ports 44380 and uh, udp you see we have port 53 for dns now i can close this let's go to statistics again and look at conversations now here we have under ethernet you see we have address a to address b and it's just showing us the mac addresses Again, on a local network, you're gonna be using your MAC addresses to communicate. That's why we're seeing this. And IPv4, we have the address A, address B, and this time you're seeing the layer three IP addresses, for instance, 172.16.1.4, which is the default gateway. And we have the 
172.16.1.10, communicating with Kali. We have another IP here, Kali Linux, which is dot 13 going to 1.1.1. This is the DNS IP. For IPv6, we have one packet. Then for TCP, we have, um, again, we have devices that are communicating with devices on the internet, or you can see public IP addresses, for instance, 23.43.85, and the destination port 80, which is HTTP. There's another one, 443 for HTTPS. Now the source port is gonna be a random port, like this one, 27,824. Now on the UDP, actually, let's go back here. You see this port 22, now that's for SSH. This is where you are coming from that Windows device going to Kali. Again, a random source port, and then this is the destination port, port 22. So this tells us that we have this port open on this device. So that's information that we can gather just by looking at this uh, captured packets on, on uh, Wireshark. Here's another uh, packet that goes to a port 3389 this is for rdp again you see the source ip dot 10 going to dot 11 so we know there's a rdp port open here on this dot 11 device let's look at udp packets again if you scroll down you see this port 43 is a communication from this is dot 13 which is Kali linux with a random source port and it's accessing there's uh, this DNS server 1.1.1 at port 53, and you can see the number of packets. So right there, you can see there's quite a lot of information that we are able to gather just by looking at the packets that we have here on, the, on this Wireshark capture. And so there's um, different tools within Wireshark you can use to kind of filter or drill down. Let's say if you're only interested in Let's go to this one. And let's say you just wanted to see the kind of communication going on on this particular port or the on this particular port 22. You can select the packet, right click on it, and either apply as a filter to just have those packets showing on your Wireshark capture, or you can just use find and then go selected A and B. And then if you go back to your to the capture itself you can see that there's a filter that, that was applied, IP address equals equals the IP, and then and and, and then source port, and then destination address, and then source, and then destination port. And then you can use find to just look at those packets. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, there's quite a lot you can do with Wireshark when you're trying to look at the communication that's going on on a given network. Now, the, the other tool is the app table. And with the app table, the information will see is the IP addresses and the MAC addresses associated with those IP addresses. Again, the, the devices on the local network are going to be using this layer two MAC addresses to communicate. So every time a device is trying to communicate with another device on the local network, it's going to app or request to map between the IP address and the MAC address of that device before they can start the communication. Now to view the app table on a, say a Kali Linux, you just type in app and it's gonna list for us an IP address and then the hardware or the MAC address of that IP address. So it just, it's just a mapping between the IP address, layer three and layer two. So here we have three. And let's say if we try to ping uh, let's say 172.16.1, let's say 11. So it's gonna, what it's gonna do is gonna try and map that first. So let's do up again. And now since I try to ping it, before it can communicate with it, it has to kind of, it's gonna have to up, it's gonna send a broadcast packet on the network asking who has this IP and then they, this IP, the device with this IP is gonna respond and provide its MAC address. After that, then this device, the Kali Linux device is able to communicate with this device. Now let's see what we get on our PC. So let's create this. 
on a PC, we'll do, we just do app dash A, and that should show you the mapping between the actual IP address and the MAC address, which should match what we're seeing here. For instance, the dot 11 and, and the MAC address is the last four BDC3, so BDC3. Okay, that's all for this video. That's how you can use Wireshark and the app table to kind of find out what devices are communicating on your network. I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.